Hi, I'm AJ Hogue, the director of Effortless English. And welcome to the free 7 Rules email course. Today is Rule 1. Now, Rule 1 is learn English phrases, not individual words. This one, just like all the other rules, is very simple, very easy. And like the other rules, this rule is very, very powerful. So simple, so powerful. What is the rule? The rule is always learn phrases, not individual words. So simple. So a phrase is a group of words. It's not, you can have a whole sentence, but it's just, a, it's even a part of a sentence. So for example, let's say uh, you have the word hate. H-A-T-E, hate, and you want to learn this new word. Uh, you can, you know, just write down the word hate, and then you find in your dictionary the meaning, and then you memorize it. Hate, 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 hate. That's the old way. That's the kind of textbook way, the school way, right? In school, you probably remembered a lot of individual words. You had those big vocabulary lists, and you're trying to memorize all of them, trying to remember all these individual words single words. It's not a good way to learn. Much better if you learn a phrase, a group of words. And where do you find these phrases? You find these phrases in the real English podcast that you're listening to, in the real English storybooks that you're reading. So you don't memorize a list in a book. No, no, no. You listen to real English, and when you hear a new word, you write it down. Or when you're reading a storybook and you see a new word, you write it down. But do not just write down that word. You want to write down the whole phrase or sentence that it's in. All of it. So instead of saying hate, and you just write down hate, you would say, you would write down, John hates ice cream. You write down the whole phrase. Why do we do this? What's the power of phrases? Well, phrases give you a lot of information, much more information. Number one, phrases are easier to remember because they have meaning. They have a kind of a picture, a story, especially when you get them from something that you're reading or listening to. You'll remember it. John hates ice cream. You remember the whole story. You remember who John is. You remember that he had ice cream, and then you remember he hated it. He didn't like it. Right? So you have all these extra pieces of information. All this extra information helps you remember the meaning of the phrase and the meaning of that word. So it helps your memory. Much easier to remember. Number two, there's a bonus. When you learn phrases, you are learning grammar also. You're not only learning an individual word, you're learning grammar. You're learning how to use that word correctly. You don't need to think about the grammar. You don't need to know the rules. It's automatic. This is another way that native speakers learn English grammar. Because when we're children, we learn with phrases. We learn groups of words, not just one word by one word by one word. Word by word is slow and it doesn't help. And you don't learn any grammar. But when you learn a whole phrase, you write down the phrase, you're getting extra information. Maybe you don't know it, but you are. For example, John hates ice cream. Just that word, that S on the end, hates, right? John hates. Well, you know from grammar study that, you know, you're, you're making the subject and the verb agree. But you don't need to think about that. Just write down the phrase, John hates ice cream, and study it and review it. Always learn the phrase, not just that word. And so in the future, whenever you say, he hates ice cream, she hates ice cream, you will add that S, the S, right? Because that's how you learned it. You learned it correctly. You learned it from a phrase. On the other hand, if you learn it from a textbook, you just learn the word hate, it means does not like, and you only learn that form, hate, 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 and you study it, you study it, you study it, you memorize it, that's when you start making mistakes because you learned it only this one way. You didn't 
learn it with other words. So sometimes you'll say, he hate ice cream. You'll forget the S because you, you never learned it correctly in a sentence, in a phrase. So it's, this is a very simple rule, our last rule in the course. Very, very important. Every time you find a new word, always, always, always write the phrase or the sentence. When you review that word again, when you study it again, always, always, always study the entire phrase or sentence. Never study just the word. Always the whole phrase. Do this every time your grammar will begin to improve. It'll improve much faster. And you'll remember the vocabulary faster and more easily. And you will use that vocabulary more quickly. So you get a lot of great benefits. A lot of great stuff happens when you learn phrases instead of words. So phrases, phrases, phrases. Learn them. I hope you enjoyed rule number one. Use this rule. Now your homework is to get a little phrase notebook. So when you find new English vocabulary uh, in a lesson, in something you're listening to, in a book, in an article, write down the phrase, not just one word. Write down the entire whole phrase that you find and then review that phrase again and again each day. And you will create a notebook full of phrases, full of sentences, not individual words, never an individual word. Okay, so that's rule one. Tomorrow you get another email with rule number two. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.